not put off from a wee scars. Oh, not at all. Looks like a few of my own. <laughs> oh, I'll bet. What type of battle scars did you get from the Black Gate, eh? Splinters! <laughs> oh, or did you uh, scar your voice telling your soldiers to head into battle? Tread lightly. My scars run very deep. Huh. The mighty Grog. He gave me these. And he also took my hunting partner. So, what now? Well, another lesson for you, my partner. <clears throat> Maybe you'll even come out of this one unscarred. <laughs> so, what backward lesson do you have planned this time, eh? Shooting Krabain to prepare us for the mighty Grog? You want to hunt Grog? So you shall. But not just any Grog. This is a rare one. It's territorial. Strong enough to claim land as its own. And you and me, we're trespassing. Tell me, Captain, you ever slay a Grog before? Today will be the first of many. Now you're talking like a hunter. I've got a feeling in my gut you may survive this, Captain. Oh, since that's the largest part of you, I like those odds. So I assume you have a plan to kill this Grog. I do, Captain. And since you're so good at taking orders, I'll tell you how, step by step. Step one, when he's crunching on an Uruk, sneak up behind the giant beast and bleed the bastard's ankle. But why not his throat? There is one place Graugs aren't covered in spiky scales. They don't call a weakness a Graugs heel for nothing. You want me to sidle up to this beast? If you can manage it without being crushed, yes. There it goes! What a fine, fine specimen! And it'll meet a fine end. What a fine, fine specimen. And it'll meet a fine end. I've got to pierce its ankle if I want to bleed it. to ride. I need a category for speed. Sounds easy enough. to lead this grog to Torven.
What's step four? There is no step four. It should be dead. You must have done it wrong. I'm following your orders. Well, that's your problem. Thanks for your Unusual to ride the ground. Nothing like a little improvising, eh? <laughs> All right, Captain. That's it. You showed instinct, gumption, respect. <laughs> Training's over. You've got guts. Let's go spill some, eh? darkness of Mordor doesn't seem to touch that dwarf. The Seven Rings of Power did not turn the Dwarf Kings to wraiths, as the Nine Rings did to man. They are as stubborn as stone and cannot be dominated by evil. That is why Sauron has sworn to destroy